All right. So, uh, big night for us tonight? Yeah, this is it. All right. So, I don't want you guys uh, cussing. Okay. All right. Or in any way. It's just a long walk going around behind you, man. <laughs> just like. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Can you rear up on your back legs? <laughs> Try it. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Very good. Wow. All right. Come on, then. Hey, 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 oh, oh, man. Oh, whoa. All right, all right. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, listen, uh, we're all on our best behavior tonight because Metallica is here. So, you know, don't crack it. Up. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So not, not like we usually do then, just right. Well, a little bit. We, we, you know, a little bit. We have to still be ourselves, but right. be respectful to the fact that we have guests. Okay. Who are, you know, might frighten the regular viewers of this show. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> who are at home right now uh, eating, you know, oatmeal. Actually, that's not true. Research has proven that the average viewer of this show is high. Wow. Man, it's a long walk getting round there. Can you do it? Unbelievable. What? Unbelievable. I know. I mean, you should. What? You? I think you're putting on weight. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Are you, you going to storm off now? Off you go then. <laughs> hey, well, hold on a sec. It's not a real. I can have a No. <laughs> Get out. Get out. You know what? You know why he's like this. Why is he like that? Well, it's the Metallica thing. Oh, he, oh, oh, right. He's he's not a fan. He's not a fan. No, of no, he wanted it to be Manolo all week. That's right. <laughs> he fought he, for it. Yeah, he was like Manolo all week. It, then we start with Copacabana, then right. move on to some other Barry Manolo yeah, song. Right, yeah. Boy, we would have gone out with a bang with that. Yeah, Barry Manilow all week. Well, I think it would be more of a kind of whoo, whoo. Yeah. Well, have, you ever, have you ever had a whoo? Yes, yes, a couple times. Oh, uh, let's play uh, Point Counterpoint. Point Counterpoint. <laughs> I'm oh. Point and you're Count Counterpoint. Wait, I'm Count Counterpoint? You're Count Counterpoint. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I am Count Counterpoint. Yes, Count Counterpoint. <laughs> All right, Count, I submit to you... Yes? ...that Barry Manilow is better than Metallica. Go. Oh. Tootsie Fruits. Yeah. <laughs> The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Denny's. Welcome to America's Diner. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I'm so excited, my man candy is sparkling! Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it, yeah. Tonight, before I come out, the warm-up comedian, we call him a comedian. Yeah, he's not a comedian. Not a comedian, no, but he what is he? He's a guy we found on the street. 
He just started showing up 10 years ago. No, that, that's me. Oh, that's you, uh, right, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he said before I came out, he said to the audience, get him so excited his man candy sparkles. Yeah. What, what is man candy? That's a guy that I know uh, in West Hollywood. Man candy. Man candy? Yes, sir. Is there a lady candy? <laughs> yeah. Is it the same person? Yes, it is. Yeah, right. It's a great day for America, everybody. It is a great day. It is a great day here for us at the show because Metallica is here. Yeah! yeah. Metallica, we got Metallica, we got a robot skeleton. How much more metal could it get, Jeff? None. None, more, none metal. more metal. None more metal. We're doing spinal tap bits yeah, that's now. What we're, yeah, we're doing that. That's Are we doing Stonehenge? For our older uh, viewers. Uh, they're all older. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> so for Metallica, it's nine studio albums, four live albums, five EPs, 26 music videos, 37 singles, and one huge favor to a low budget late night train wreck. Yeah. Thank you, Metallica. <laughs> now, let me tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. It's very interesting to look at the studio audience and see the people that are here to see this show and the people that are here to see Metallica. Because the Metallica people are like, what the hell? <laughs> and the people who are here to see this show are like, who are, who are, who are these hairy young people here? The uh, CBS were worried that Metallica, you know, being here, they might trash the stage. And I'm like, look at this dump. <laughs> If they trash the stage here, it'll cause thousands of dollars of improvements. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's face it, the typical CBS viewer is not used to heavy metal. When a typical CBS viewer says, enter Sandman, it's because they need a nap. That's right. I, 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 I. A typical CBS viewer is the opposite of heavy metal. What, what would that be, Jeff? The opposite of heavy metal? That's light wood. Light wood, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I've actually got light wood right now. Mm. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, it's getting heavier. Oh, no, it went light again. All right. There'll be a lot of headbangers uh, watching tonight. Fans of heavy metal are called headbangers, like fans of Justin Bieber are called idiots. And fans, <laughs> fans of... That's right, believers. Yeah. Uh, I look forward to your outraged tweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fans of David Hasselhoff, what are they called? Uh, Germans. Germans. Uh... <laughs> fans of country music? White people. White people. <laughs> so, yeah. Remember, there used to be a, a, a heavy metal show on MTV. MTV used to play music, and they... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I know! Mm -hmm. That's what the M stands for. But the MTV, there used to be Headbangers Ball. Have you ever seen a Headbangers Ball? Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've seen the uh, Tommy Lee video. Yeah, Same thing, that. yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> People say that Metallica are one of the greatest heavy metal bands of all time. Now, this may be true, but I think they're just one of the greatest rock and roll bands of all time. You've got bass, guitar, and drums. That's rock and roll. It's not some Eurotrash DJ pushing a button on the dubstep machine. It's... Oh, now, great. I alienated the 18 to 34-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to think of something to win them back. <laughs> hey, Taylor Swift is here. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Not while I'm here. Yeah. 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 Wow. To be fair, to be fair, that's not much longer. So she no, could no, be gone. No, no, no. Now, Heavy metal is a kind of catch-all term. I mean, it can mean thrash metal, speed metal, grindcore, hair metal, um, Irish step metal. <laughs> there is Irish is it, step right, metal. Okay. It's like river dance on metal, like hi diddly dee diddly dee diddly dee, hi diddly dee. Come on, Jack. Hi diddly dee diddly dee diddly dee, hi diddly doo diddly dee. Oh!
<laughs> Heavy metal is like any music, some good and uh, some not good. Now, back in the day, there was some antagon antagonism between heavy metal fans and the punk rockers, but it, and it was bands like Metallica that bridged the gap. If you were a punk, it was okay to like Metallica, even though, though they had long hair and most of their teeth. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right. As you'll see tonight, though, no, they're fine, their yeah, teeth no, are fine. <laughs> They're, they're, they won't be watching this bit. They'll be limbering up. Yeah, li they're limbering Listen, that, up. Yeah, that, yeah. That Metallica backstage going yeah. like that. Ah. <laughs> 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 no, it'll be fine. Some people, uh, some people consider Led Zeppelin heavy metal, but that's not really heavy metal, is it? Yeah, that really. Yeah, yeah. No, this thing about wizards and magic, that's more kind of Game of Thrones metal, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Griffin, Gryffindor metal. Gryffindor metal. Yeah, Griffin, Gryffindor yeah. metal. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what I like about metal is they got aggressive names. The bands. Yeah, yeah. Aggressive names. Who would your heavy metal band be? My heavy metal band? Yeah. Would be uh, Man Candy. <laughs> I would go for a CBS heavy metal band and be like, Murder, She Rock. Oh, yeah, and I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, uh, Bloody Regis. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about Dick Cheney's heart? Dick Cheney, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Dead Rot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Don't bring them up the here hell, right man. now. It's what the hell, wrong man? night. What the hell, man? How about late night douche? <laughs> there you okay. go. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on. Commercial break. America's favorite low budget late night train wreck continues after this with Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> Let's All right, it. ready? <laughs> Excuse me. I thought it was me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What was that thing we were doing the other night? Or maybe it's in the future. I can't remember because sometimes we pre-tape the show. But yeah, they, you, uh, um, you, but that thing where you, you made uh, yeah. my, my genitals... You have the ability to make music with your genitals. I do. Yes. I can make my genitals whistle. <laughs> Excuse me. Gotta watch that. <laughs> it makes us laugh. I know. We I have know. fun. All right, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from Man Candy and the Late Night Douches. Yeah! yeah. This is from Douglas in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, he says, uh, Craig, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, man, is there anything weird we should know about you that you haven't shared over the years? What, what, what do you know? I, I, I think I've pretty much said everything. What, what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't... What is he saying? Uh, you... Well, this is embarrassing, but you have uh, breasts. 
You have three. You have... I, I have three breasts? You have three breasts, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. It's crazy. Jeez. All right. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Who the hell is this? Hey, it's uh, Barry Manilow. How are you? Oh, hey! <laughs> uh, do you write the songs? I write the songs. I can't. Sing, I can't. Sing I, them. We yeah, can't you, afford you, you to sing them. Get sued. I'm um. I'm working on a new song. I, unfortunately, I couldn't be on because Metallica's there. But I'm working on a new song for you guys. Well, what's the new song then? It goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 it's nice. <sighs> I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> wow. Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. It's amazing. Yeah. It's. It sounded really like him. It really uh, did. Well, no one knows what the hell he sounds like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they do. It's his friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're not watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Ricardo in uh, Pompano, Pompano in, uh, in Florida. He's yeah, in right. Florida. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but Ricardo is an owl. <laughs> oh, uh, who? <laughs> Ricardo. Who? <laughs> Come on, everyone in the audience. Ricardo. Who? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> all right, all right. He says, uh, Dear Craig, what's your favorite word in the English language that you can say on television? <laughs> gusset. <laughs> gusset? Yeah, gusset. It's the area of the pants. Taint the front, taint the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the... <laughs> It's yeah. the, you know, it's the gusset. Yeah, and I got can it. see that, right? That's a thing. It's an actual thing. You know, it's a kind of no man's land. Sure, sure. It's a no man's land between, you know, how'd you do and how have you been? <laughs> taint, taint that the truth. Yeah, yeah anyway. <laughs> this is from uh, Joseph in uh, DeKalb, Illinois. Is it DeKalb or DeKalb? De DeKalb. DeKalb. <laughs> Says, Craig, have you... Oh, Ugh. Uh, <laughs> This is from Preston in New Orleans who says, uh, Craig, I heard you were going off the show and doing another show soon, and I just wanted to say that's awesome, so thanks and congratulations. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Why are you so angry at him? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, if only there were some uh, form of therapy I could get. <laughs> who is it? Hi, this is Man Candy. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> you oh. I'm good. Uh, I think I was, I'm getting a little angry. I feel I have anger issues. What are you so angry about? You're what doing are you so angry about, man candy? Hold on, I've got to adjust myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, look, the jail don't fly. <laughs> pretty good, it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. G Lando Fly replaced by the, the Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Fallon fly. fly. Oh, it's so great. I'm a fly. Wow, I got wings. Cool, neat. Wow, awesome, awesome. Whoa, whoa. How'd I get this show? I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> then the. Wow, wow. Hey, hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey. No. 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 After the Jimmy Fallon fly, the very rare. <laughs> Craig Ferguson. Craig Ferguson fly. fly. Oh, look at me, cheeky monkey. It's a great day for America. Oh, Shrek. Hey, Lonnie Haggis, ball, farty donkey. <laughs> Wow. Any more flies? There was the Nicolas Cage fly. Oh, okay. I'm a fly. Here I am. Oh, oh, I'm flying. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Any more? Arnold Schwarzenegger fly? Arnold Schwarzenegger fly. Maria. What about... What about Morgan Freeman fly? Yeah, the Morgan Freeman fly narrates his own flight pattern. Okay. <laughs> Here I am, flying through the air. <laughs> Strong wings, translucent. I'm going to go find some duty to sit on. Because I'm a fly.
My first guest tonight are in one of the greatest bands on earth. They've sold more than 120 million albums worldwide. They are... Well, they're in the band, really, That's right, they? that's right, that's correct. I'm, I'm, I'm letting a sense of anticipation that's good. build. Yeah. Ooh. Metallica fans, you're frightening the regular Late Late Show fans. Everybody's got to get along, so... Show them what time it is. Come on. Come on. Come on. There are a few of them out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a few of them. What's weird is we get Metallica fans here every night. Every <laughs> night. Uh, yeah. So you guys are in a pop group. That's nice. And... <laughs> And up, this up is and your coming, film? Up and coming. Up and pop. coming pop group. Have you ever been called a pop group? Like, did you ever like start out when you do the local radio going, that these guys are in a pop group and they uh never, oh, never come on. Really never. We have We've to been remember. thrown out of clubs because they that they thought we were punk. They thought we were punks. And we're supposed to be, you know, playing in a in a rock club and they I remember that and back in it was kind of near this area. Really? LA. Yeah, we got yeah. thrown out of a club because That's they why thought, we left. Yeah. I, I, I have, I've been thrown out of clubs in this area and I didn't do anything at all. But did you, uh, I mean, when you started, because there was that punk metal kind of thing going on at the beginning, it was you guys and Motorhead were the only guys we were allowed to listen to. I was in punk bands and they're like, we were allowed to listen to Metallica and Motorhead and everyone else. It was, a, you know, we had to get them if we saw them. That was it. Motorhead was a huge inspiration for us yeah. getting together. And obviously at that time, 79, 80, 81, Motorhead was like the biggest band in England and one of the biggest bands in Europe. So when they came over here was right when we met and we basically like, they were like our heroes and I followed them around on tour all through California, drove behind their tour bus. Really? Just to, you know, like I was- uh, Nothing presence. creepy about that, young man. Nothing creepy about that. <laughs> Still will do that yeah, yeah. occasionally. Hey, Lammy, I'm a drummer. <laughs> That's right. I'm a drummer. Let me on your bus. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're that, if you ask Lemmy about it, it's like you're that kid that threw up all over himself in yeah. my hotel room. Really? Yeah. That's there's the a, one. On, a, on album in about 84, 85 on the inner sleeve, there's a picture of me, this is a true story, inside, in the inner sleeve uh, with me with a bar fall over myself in his hotel room <laughs> at three in the afternoon. <laughs> Lemmy <laughs> let me, let me came to town, which was, like I said, that was the biggest thing in our worlds, and I was um, pretty nervous. Yeah. So uh, a couple of uh, shots of straight vodka. I don't don't try that at home, kids. But a couple of shots. I tried that once <laughs> in 1979, <laughs> and, and you threw up. And I woke yourself. up in 1992. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, tried that uh, outside of Lemmy's hotel. Walked in, and a couple hours later, I woke up, and I'd been photographed, and it ended up on the inner sleeve of the next Motorhead album. Nice. And all its information. Nice. There you that go. That's kind of cool, but now it's very That's different, very of course. Cool. You're, you know, you're all, your dad's now, you drive the minivan to school, and you, it's like. Yeah, any barf on your, in front of you is from your kids. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. You're covered in, like, Cheerios and milk, yeah. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Nothing rock and roll about any of Well, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, I mean, I, you guys were rehearsing today, which is something I never do, but uh, when I heard you and guys. we don't do very often. Well, I don't know. You sounded pretty good. It was kind of interesting. I thought, gosh, they're dads, and yet they can rock. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. combine those two yeah. uh, loves of life. Yeah, yeah a little dads bit. Dads rock. Yeah? New subgenre. What, dad rock? Yeah, dad oh, rock. I think it exists already. <laughs> yeah, it's that, uh, well, Manilow is a, no, well, actually, uh, the wrong uh, Name the second Manilow song. 
Um, um, I, the, um I, through the rain. I don't know. Okay. Does anybody know? Uh, <laughs> enter the man in a pantsuit. Enter, uh, enter, <laughs> enter Manilo. Um, barely man enough. Barely. <laughs> oh. Hey, 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 hold on. Wow. What's happening there? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> what happened there is you completely split the room. Yeah. <laughs> The, the Metallica fans are like, yeah! And the other CBS viewers are like, oh, come on, no. I, that's a little too harsh. Too well, see, harsh. I, I, I bribed uh, a secretariat over there with some carrots to try and, you know, get, get secretariat into the metal mood. No, right? no, no, you no. Know? You, yeah. you, you don't give that horse carrots. That horse is a cocaine problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, a, you were talking about that. Look that's, at that. That's but why he's bouncing around like uh, that. And that's why the mustache is white. Okay. Why is it so fat? Look at it. Oh, uh, man. Uh, oh, man. Uh, Kick his ass. To kick, his ass, ass man. Kick, his ass. kick his ass. Kick his ass. Don't, man. Don't. Kick his ass, man. Don't start. Don't start with that. Don't. Hell, you, the, the horse will go -la -la. crazy yeah, on you. Man. Yeah. Don't call him fat. <laughs> Are you, now, what's going on with this? This is coming out again? The documentary? Again, yeah, I. But this is I the one where the, uh, <laughs> we have to watch it again. Again? <laughs> the blue part is the giveaway oh, this time. Oh, yeah. right, it's Blu-ray, yeah, so yeah. we can see your shame and high dash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was like this is an interesting movie. I've seen this movie a lot. This is I've seen this movie a lot because because I can when I tour or doing stand up, it's a tour bus and there's guys on the bus and we watch tour bus movies and they are Spinal Tap, of course. And Metallica documentary. <laughs> that's great company to be in. Yeah, no, Ours was, uh, our favorite one was Blazing Saddles. That's yeah, that's a good one. About yeah. 9, Anything stars. by Jason Statham is awesome yeah. on a tour awesome. bus. Yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's very, he's like, I'll crack it. you up. <laughs> yeah. He's very, you just, he'll cut you. So that things. gets you in a good mood for a show? <laughs> no, no, this is after the show. This is to bring me down, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is when, you, yeah, when you're bring, all arguing. That'll bring you real down. That'll I mean, bring you all was, the way to the basement. This was a brave thing to do at the time. I mean, it was like a reality show for a very successful band. What, I, I, who talked you into it? Because I'm not saying you shouldn't have done it. It was just like it's very you exposed yourselves, like it, uh, like kind of. It was quite kind a lot. of uh, it was something that happened over time. Yeah. Joe and Bruce, the directors, uh, we knew them from the Paradise Lost movies. We had uh, given them the, the rights to use our music for those because we believed in, in what they were doing and, and the cause of the Memphis Three. Right. So um, we were making a new record in 99 or 2000, and they came up to say, <laughs> I'm looking at Don't you. Don't look at me. Yeah. <laughs> they came up to San Francisco to film the, the process of us making a new record, and then over the course of the next few months, um, one breakdown after another breakdown. It's kind of like a Spinal Tap. It's like Marty just, DeBerge is like, that's right. I made a documentary and I uh, didn't know what I was going to get. Uh, one, uh, yeah, one thing. I guess. And another thing. Short bread. No, none of that talk here. Okay. So, uh. oh, okay. Well, you lead you lead. No, no, no. It sounds like that because I'm Scottish, <laughs> but that's not. You lead by example. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So they ended up sticking around and capturing the whole downfall in its glory and. Um, and then afterwards, they sort it's of sat down. A great uh, movie, I well, think. they sat down and said, "Listen, we think we have a great story here because it's not really a story about um, it's not really a story about a rock and roll band. It's a story about human beings right. going through a very turbulent time in their life, set against the background of rock and roll." And it's we think pretty it's, rock and roll uh, as well. <laughs> and we think it's going to be a great movie. Yeah, and yeah. we went, "Okay, we yeah, trust no, you." Yeah, no, it's so we, really we good. Follow along. We have to take a break. Do you ever do that when you're playing a stadium show? You just go, "We're going to stop and thank that's, our sponsors." That's called that's called the bass solo. <laughs> yeah, the bass solo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take the bass solo. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with James and Lars from yeah, Metallica. Yeah. Uh, they're, uh, you do, is that a thing? You've got to do that when you're in a, a rock band. You have to point at the crowd. But you have to oh, be just like you're doing Yeah, now. yeah, you're like, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I always wonder, like, one of the greatest uh, rock icons of all time, right, a Beatle, uh, Paul McCartney. Do we have a picture of Paul? 
I think most people know what he yeah, looks you're like. Right. Yeah. 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 Now listen. Wow. Now here's the thing. He looks good. <laughs> yeah, no, he's fine. Now, but Paul is a favorite. He does the Clinton thumb. He does the thumbs up, which you know when he's the, he doesn't point. He doesn't do the Metallica point. He does the he does the, which I think is a mistake. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. It's actually, you know, you're, you're throwing some horns, but you're pointing at two people at the same time. Right. Yeah. You got to do the Metalla brow, which we've perfected. Let me see that. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. He can, he can go both ways. He can go both, I can go both ways. Uh, well, I go both well, ways, too, but that's because I'm European. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, so when you, you still get a kick out of the, the, the live stuff and the road stuff. I mean, you've been doing it for a long time now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we still get it. <laughs> yeah, we still, long time. We, we still get a kick out of it. I mean, we do it in much shorter increments now, so we, we kind of have a two-week rule in our Because you're not allowed to get away from the house for longer than two weeks at Something a time. like that, yeah. yes. Yeah, so I know exactly weeks, what yeah, it's you like. You can relate yeah. to that. Yeah, I got kids, too. So, no, so we, Daddy, you got to come back. Yeah, we, yeah. Do, we do the two-week grind, and, um, and we roll home. And it also sort of prevents you from falling off the deep end, so it serves multiple purposes. All like right, because when you go on the road, you lose touch with reality and become a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> on day 15, yeah, which is that's... why we go home on day 14. Yeah. That's very, very After clever. 14, off the rails. <laughs> yeah. 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 Literally oh. at mid midnight in the witching hour. Just Oh, argh. man. Yeah. I don't know, though. It's something about going on the road. That was what always appealed to me when I was a kid. I, one of the first concerts I saw, actually, Lemmy was there. I saw Hawkwind, Hawkwind in Glasgow. Sure, that was the, <laughs> Lemmy's yeah. hippie band sure. before uh, Motorhead. Silver Head, Machine. Right? Silver Machine. That's, That's a great right. song. That's a you guys should cover that song. Right now. No, not right Go now. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, but, uh, but you should cover that song. Cover that song. Would you do that? Of course. Okay. <laughs> I just need to learn it. Well, oh, it's fine. It's they three chords. It's, it's three chords. Like, it's, it's, you know, it's good. Yeah. It's you know the silver machine. It's fine. You'll be fine. It's a good song. So we're, uh, we had a list of songs that we were going to cover. One was from some band, Bastards from Hell. Or oh yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no, that would so be uh, yeah. Yeah, Bela Lugosi's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Yeah, because I could use the money if you guys go over that. So, no, no, no. I was in the Bastards from Hell, and then yeah. we changed our name to the Dream Boys. <laughs> good, good, good move. That's yeah, uh, yeah, one extreme role. to the other, huh? Yeah, yeah. The, well, I never said we were good or smart. I just said I was in them. That's all. So, someone's girlfriend was a manager at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you know? We're, That's we're right. In Dublin. Uh, uh, yes, it, yeah, that in Dublin, like, Janine's done everyone's astrological chart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how it always works out. Yes, it is. That's what happens. Anyway, we're out of time. You guys have got to, uh, you no! know. No! No, we're, we're, no, we're not you out of time. And, uh, okay. Yeah, you've got to go and warm up your fingers. Yeah. 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 Warm up. Yeah, Thanks do, for turning up the temperature for Oh, yeah, it's too hot way. now. Yeah, it's getting it is. Because they come in and they went, it's so cold, we can't put our music. No, don't say, don't say we. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. You know who it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was like, I can't play the guitar, it's so cold. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> Didn't you guys play in Antarctica? I was no, it wasn't as cold as that. <laughs> Allowed to wear gloves, and so we had to turn off the air conditioner. And now it's now like it's a swamp warm, in here. Yeah. God, now I'm gonna have to play shirtless. No, you don't want that. You know, I love you, man, but that train may have left the stage. Hey, you, you were I'm... the one that said you swing both ways. Yeah, yeah, I know, but but I might stop. Okay. <laughs> and don't start, and don't start the European thing either, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah of okay, course. Yeah. Well, Danish isn't European. It's more kind of like, it's sort of like sub-German, really, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to leave that one no, alone. No, wait. I, I don't I'm know. just going to leave that one alone. No, no, no. German. I, no, no. Who are we getting a call from now? I don't know. I just thought maybe <laughs> there might be a call. <laughs> oh. I don't know. It's probably for you, anyway. That's, uh... It's, it's... Paul? Oh, he's pissed about the No, fixing. no, no, I think it might actually be oh. someone. Who is it? Who, who is it? Yeah, who is it's it? Morgan Freeman. Oh, Morgan Freeman! <laughs> I really you want you to... In? I want you to take your shirt off for me. <laughs> for, um... For now or for the song when we play? Say that? Say again? Now or for the song when, oh, when we no, play? Oh, no, do it now and after. <laughs>
Coming up on The Late Late Show, a performance by Metallica. A band who are here this entire week. Uh, they're here performing a song called, what's it called, Jeff? What's the song called? Uh, it's called Hit the Lights, everybody. Please welcome Metallica. 